without and consoles is a hot topic right now. As it is open source, there is no official way of porting to consoles. But well, consoles is one of the biggest markets and one that many developers target. That is the reason why today I have recompiled all the official information we have about this topic and I will present it to you in an organized way. By the end of this video, you will have a comprehensive understanding about without and consoles. 1. Does without support consoles? So actually I'm going to be using initially this article, it is um, quite old but here the information is still relevant to today and up to date. So as soon as you start scrolling down over here, here in the where does Widow fit in all this after explaining um, how developers actually built for consoles, here basically it says that as Widow is a free and open source software, um, it is impossible for Widow to include first party console support, okay? Um, so this means that indeed you are going to always be depending on some kind of third party company etc in order to port your games to consoles. To make it simple, it is not possible for Godot to support consoles as an open source project. Basically if Godot would want to support consoles it would have to uh, stop being open source. And probably that is something that will never happen because it's one of the main advantages of using Godot, one of the reasons why many developers choose Godot instead of other engines. 2. How to get a Godot game in consoles anyway? In spite of not being able to support consoles as a first party, there is a way in which you can actually get your game in consoles. So the solution that here Godot provides is to work with companies that they do have the necessary agreements and stuff in order to port your games to consoles. Um, and therefore, they would be acting basically as publishers. Here, Godot also provides a list of companies that can really help you sort this out. Now, there is an ongoing project that is the Godot official solution, W for Games. In this post, under their official website, um, you're going to find lots of information about this, but I will basically sum up the most important things. First of all, you have to know that this is a project that started in something like the beginning of 2023 and is currently on development right now. And I think that it also got some betas open, okay, for some specific platforms or in, within consoles. But well, the reality is that still work has been done uh, like for the past year and even a little bit more than a year and a half, we could say. And that they are still not able to port to consoles, okay? So, of course, we still have a long path to follow in order to be able to support consoles in good old. And here, for example, by the way, it shows the importance of the consoles market um, today because here it says Switch followed by Xbox are the most profitable platforms for publishing games today. Uh, so, indeed, it is something that we have to take in account in order for good old success because if uh, good old would support if so if uh, good old supported consoles uh, there would probably be much more developers using it so here what is trying to do here w for games so uh, as here is explained you can technically uh port your games to consoles using uh some companies such as long wolf and pineapple works um well actually w4 uh, looks for some um middleware um for a uh, good out in order to be able to port for a uh, consoles so basically they are trying somehow to create some kind of version of good out or something like that that can actually allow you to build for consoles okay and basically as well we know the nature of good out is being simple efficient so this will also make all the process much simpler than with uh, other third parties and well here it also explains a little bit more about this middleware that they want to uh, create basically they want to uh, offer some kinds of console ports um then these ports are intended to be middleware approved so basically the console manufacturer um will allow that game to be ported or exported and this will also include all the necessary sdks and as i was mentioning the idea here of w4 games is to provide this within the good old nature of being simple and efficient for literally everything and the important thing here is that their mission is to um, help people build their own games for console with less reliance on third parties okay which is amazing
Then in other posts, again, in, uh, in the official website of W4 Games, now they have announced the, well, now, let's say, uh, a couple of months ago, they announced their prices, okay? Um, so here, you, you actually have the prices, okay? I think that they are quite self-explanatory. So yeah, probably most people is going to be uh, with either the starter package of the pro package, uh, because here we see game team size max between 8 and 20, uh, well, if you have more than 20, then you will have to um, buy the enterprise. But, well, here is a custom pricing and more things. But, well, for most of us, I, I think that with the starter or even with the pro one, it's going to be enough. And, well, actually here, depending on the amount of platforms that you're going to be able to port to, well, of course, the price changes a lot. But, well, I think the prices are quite accessible because, for example, let's take the first one. That's probably the most that is going to be bought. Or well, at least for the majority of people that is watching this video. So for one platform, uh, taking in mind that there would be eight max people, everybody would be paying something like one hundred dollars or some uh, or something like that. In two platforms, um, something like two hundred, and in this one, something like two hundred fifty. This is built yearly, okay? So yes, I do think that the prices are are quite fair, okay? Because remember that this is supposed, okay, to be as easy as possible, as direct as possible, as straightforward as possible. And it's like the official solution that Guido is going to provide. So probably uh, the process of everything is going to be much better than other third parties could do. Maybe, I don't really know, and we don't really know, actually. Also, something quite important is that in, the spy, in spite of the uh, exact package that you buy, you always get the source code, as you can see. You always get all the updates. You in all well of course you would get all the documentation and tutorial but the fact that they are including literally these four areas in every single um package is quite quite amazing now i would like to wrap up all the information that we have researched in order to create this video first of all without will not support officially console sports ever since it's open source Therefore, you will always depend on some kind of third party or company such as W4 Games. And finally, that everything is just starting out, so you must be patient. There is no other way out. We're going to see how all this continues. Of course, if there is some kind of new that I think is worth mentioning in a future video, I will do it. So if you really want to be the first one on knowing the latest news about Widows, Widows and consoles, etc., Make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. I will see you in the next one and bye bye.